and welcome. Today we're just going to be playing around a little bit with search patterns. Um, the, you may be familiar with some of these, and I'm just going to throw a few in there that uh, probably are less commonly used, at least by uh, novice users. Um, so let's just let's just jump in. I'm going to list out. I have all these random files. Uh, you got some JPEGs, a GIF, or GIF, however you want to say it, PNGs, a few PDFs, all diff different names. Um, so I listed them out. So of course I can go like this, and I can say, show me just the the JPEGs. I can say just show me the PDF files. I can say show me ones that start with cat or oh there's no PDF. Just show me files that start with cat. Uh, show me only the ones that are cat.jpegs or PNGs. So we know that the uh, asterisk here basically means fill in as many characters as you want. So I'm looking for something that has cat and anywhere from zero or more here to .jpg and same here but with .png. But let's say we want specific numbers. So I can say list uh, asterisk dot at dot .png and I'll get bat, cat, fat, and mat jpeg. Uh, but let's say I just want uh, cat and bat, you know, those, those returns. I can say a, b, I'm sorry. C and B. So what we're doing here is we're looking for just uh, one character there. It's either C or B dot PNG. And of course we can change this to JPEG and we'll get JPEG or we can do an asterisk there. So now we're looking for anything that starts with the letter C or B has at dot whatever and we'll get a list of those files. So in here, these braces are, these brackets are basically, every letter you put in there is considered an individual letter that we are putting into that search. Uh, we could also say something like um, list question mark at dot PNG. Uh, and here we are replacing that with any single character. Now in this particular case, we can do this and we get the same results, but if I was to just create a file here, I'll say mat.png. Uh, so here we'll get all these because we're looking for anything at .png. But if I change this to a uh, question mark here, now it's going to list out anything with a single character there. So an asterisk is however many number of characters, zero on up where a uh, question mark is a single character. So here it will leave out that MMAT. And if we want something with two characters, AT, we can do that. Let's just create a file here real quick. We'll call this bats.png, but with two Ts. Now if we do that, it will list both of those because we're looking for two letters at .png, and that's what we get here. Um, trying to think if there's, those are just some basics I wanted to go over. And uh, I think I did. I can just you know review those, but I just wanted to make this quick little thing to basically show you the difference between asterisk, the qu uh, question mark, and using the brackets. So again, uh, we can also do something like this. Uh, let's see. I can say book, and now it's bringing up everything that has book. And if I was to create a file here, by the way, the touch command just basically touches a file. If it doesn't exist, it creates an empty file. So that's what I'm doing when I do that, if that's confused you at all. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, let's do this. Uh, 44, 45, 46, then we can do 450, 51, 60. I can also create uh, multiple files at once. I can do something like this and change this to 4, 3, 2. And the first one will just touch that file that already exists. So now I can list that out. I can list out book and it'll show me all books. Anything. I can say just book. Uh, PDF, which is going to list out the same things because there's no other files there. Uh, I can say dollar sign here and it will only list things with single digits there. I can say, oh, anything that is book for whatever. So it's going to give me 44, 45, uh, 455, or 51. Here I can do six and it's going to give me anything that has 46, that includes number 46, but if I only want things in the 460 range, I can change this to a question mark, and now it's only showing me things that are in book 460 whatever with a single digit there. Uh, so if I was to uh, touch some files here again, 
and make that. This will still ignore that because even though there's a digit after that, we're looking for a single digit, but we can go two digits and it will show that file and ignore the others. So anyway, just thought I'd give some uh, review there on how these things work. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description uh, to my website. Uh, and there's also a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There you can support me. You can also support me through PayPal if you go to filmsbychris.com support section. There's a link there for that. On my website, you can also search through all my videos. I do thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.